Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Webinar Wednesday. I am very excited because I have a very special person with me today. And um, that person is Nikki from the Sassy Subler. Hi, Nikki. So I just, see, I said it. I said Subler. <laughs> Nikki from the Sassy Subler. Nikki, can you unmute yourself real quick? Got it. <laughs> hey, fantastic. Beautiful. So I am excited. We're going to do some fun things. You and I were kind of talking yesterday about the things you're going to do. Um, yeah. And I had never heard of them, of course. Um, I don't, it, I'm kind of out of the industry of, uh, well, not the industry, but out of the realm of where these would go. So I'm really excited about it because this is kind of something that I don't really get to touch on very much. Um, and I'm, like I said, I'm really excited to see you here. Uh, we were talking earlier about our energy. And so I think this is going to be a really fun live. And Let's do it. Let's yay. do it. I'm excited too. It, it doesn't matter if you're um, if it's in your wheelhouse or not, I mean, it, it just is going to give you something more and it's going to allow you to expand your business that you might not even realize that you're missing. I mean, you, we get so like in our own boxes that you forget that there's an outside world that you can cater to. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, I know. Um, I feel like my main thing is like, well, I want to do something for my dogs, you know, so, um, right. So I'm excited because um, we're going to do stuff for, well, we're going to do stuff for kids. And then we're also going to do stuff for the men in our lives. So the, the bigger kids. Yes, absolutely. The, the hugest kids. So um, <laughs> absolutely. So without further ado, Nikki, I'm going to turn it over to you and you just take it away. Okay. All right. I'm going to head over to my heat press. So just give me one quick second to head on over there. Okay. Okay, can you hear me okay, Sprite? Yes, I can hear you perfect. Perfect, all right. Welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about the littlest kids in our life, our littles. What we're going to be making is a get your sillies out kind of game. We're gonna use a uh, subly linen placemat. We're also going to be using three car coasters to make this game. What we're gonna do is, the game, I guess, is if your child is coming home from school or it's raining outside, we're heading into the winter months here up in the north, so it's going to be lots of snow. Maybe that high energy first, second, you know, kindergartner, this way they can play this game. So here's first things first, let's get it all prepped. <clears throat> What you wanna do is use your lint roller. Now you can have two different kinds. I like this lint roller on my fabrics just because it's got those little tiny fingers, if you will. The velvet actually works really well for pulling against the fabric and it gets all of whatever schmutz or little fibers are all over this. So we really wanna get it nice in there. Now, don't get me wrong. You can use a sticky lint roller, absolutely. Um, but I like this one because it pulls against the fabric and really gets out there. Now you want to make sure you do both sides, obviously, because why? We're pressing it. And, well, if there's blue on the back, there'll be blue little fibers on the front as well. So now we've got that all prepped. Now, I do not have Condi Pro Spray. I use tape. I know, I know. I'm going to go to Condi Boot Camp for that one. Um, now here we go. So... I've already printed my image. This is one that you, you'll be able to get it on the Sassy Summer website, our Etsy page. I put it down. All right, now I'm only gonna tape it in two sections. I really don't need a lot of tape on this. It's just something just to kind of hold it down so when I get it to my press. Now, I am going to be double pressing this, the dreaded double press. Why? Because I'm only doing this on my 15 by 15. I will then press it halfway through. I'll slide it over and press it again. Now you can use a board on your heat press. I have a clamshell, so it's gonna be really hard to see this right now. Um, but what we're gonna do is put some butcher paper. We always put butcher paper on the bottom. Why? To protect our platen. Now we're gonna flip it over. Now, like I said, I am going to do a double pressing, that dreaded double press. And we're gonna add some butcher paper to the top. While this is 
Now I have it at 395 or 395 for 65 for my press. Um, please remember that all heat presses do run differently. Make sure that you know your time temp and pressure based on your uh, press. While that's cooking away, we are going to prep the game circles. So I use car coasters. I took a car coaster, again, line it all up, add some tape. You don't have to use tape. You can use the Condi Pro Spray if you want. One, two, three, gets it done. And what this is gonna do is they're gonna toss it. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna work this. You're gonna toss this and it gives the child a task. It gives them something to get those sillies out. Now on the back side, you can totally put a chore chart. You can put a game and the bonuses, they can use their cups and their placemat at the dinner table as well. They're nice and soft. The reason for them being soft, well, because if they're little kids, you don't want them throwing them and hurting themselves. So we have that. Let's uh, see what we've got going. We're gonna double press, remember. So slide this over. Now I didn't get my board out, but just double press it. <clears throat> Once this is done, we'll be able to pull all of this off so that you can see it. This, like I said, is bigger than my, my little press. I have a little one. Here we go. <clears throat> and as always, please use heat gloves. I've burned enough of my fingerprints off on things to know that I should probably use heat gloves. So here you go. Handy dandy. How are we doing over there, Sprite? We are doing fantastic. You have a lot of people watching and a lot of hashtag sassies. Woohoo! That's right. That is awesome. <clears throat> so Jerry asks, what is the hashtag or the, yeah, the hashtag sassy about? Well, I am known as the sassy suburb. So <clears throat> anytime I go live, they do hashtag sassy, hashtag rewind. If you're watching it on the rewind, I teach a live every single Sunday morning. Um, we call it going to sublimation church, if you will. Uh, and so they watch me teach all things sublimation. Uh, uh, and whatnot. And I've been doing that for three years now, every single Sunday for three years. Here we go. Whoop. See, we mocked it up already. That's okay. This is what happens when you double press. This is probably why you want to use a board. The board will help against that, that shadowing. But don't worry, we're going to keep right on going because that's what we do around here. All right. We're gonna drop those car coasters. Now, what the object is, let me take this off real quick, is getting your sillies out. They're gonna toss it in whichever um, one that they land on. So do 10 jumping jacks or do 10 sit-ups, do five push-ups, count to 10 while running in place, stretch to the right and then stretch to the left. We'll do that five times each. And then this one, although it's a little blurry and I apologize, says shake those sillies out for 30 seconds. It's a great activity board for a child. Now, what you could do is you can flip it over, add a chore chart. You can also change these out to be more age appropriate as well. So if you've got a preschooler, you might want to change these out to fit that preschooler. Maybe you've got a little bit of an older kid, third, fourth grade. This would be a great way for them to have a task to, let's say, go make their bed, get their clothes ready for school. The possibilities of this activity game are endless. Now let's see what we got here for our, whoops, coasters. Now, they're gonna pick one, two, or three. They have three, typically is how you do it. They're gonna do three tasks, and this is what they're gonna do. They're just gonna, oh, I'd have to do 10 sit-ups. Oh, bush. Oh. And there you go. And those would be the three things that they have to do to get those sillies out of their system. This is a great under 20 gift for a kiddo. You just pack these up all together. And then what you're gonna do and how I would package it, one, two, three, and then you just roll it. And then you get some twine, you get some ribbon, whatever you like. It's really completely up to you at that point. Um, what you get, let me just get my scissors. As soon as I got better. So um, you have uh, you have quite a few comments about how, um, forget the kids, this is a great workout for us. <laughs> right, exactly, <laughs> absolutely. And you know what's great too? You can make it bigger. Why or how you can make it bigger? So 
for those who don't know, and I honestly didn't know until I started searching for it, Condé sells um, a neoprene. It's 54 by 36. And you can make big like yoga type mats out of it. But again, it's a great activity for older kids. Once you tie it all together, put it with a bow, it's a great packaging idea. And then it's all put together as such. So that's one idea for the under 20. I love the whole concept of it. it, it the possibilities are really endless um, for this. Now, now we're gonna get into the fun stuff. And that would be for the older kids. I mean, my husband, my son-in-law, we are going to make bar game coasters. Now I'm using the the um, the hardwood coasters, the, these ones right here, all right, single-sided. Now each one has a different command, if you will. This one, you have to use a coin, use a coin and you gather your points. This one, well, this one just pretty much is fun. <laughs> You'll see it when I flip it over. These are, yes, it has the beer. These are definitely adult over, to, you know, age of 21 because these are drinking type coasters. Um, this tells you this is just a great little game to have with your significant other, with a buddy. Doesn't really matter. All right, we're going to line this up again. I tape them. I'm going to do four at a time um, just because my heat press can take it. We're going to line them all up. And a template is perfect. I love when a template gets perfect. So much easier. All right. And there we go. Now, I don't lint roll my hardboard. I also don't pre-press my hardboard. Some people do, some people don't. I don't. Um, does it mean it's right or wrong? No, it doesn't. Uh, it just means that I just don't pre-press my hardboard. <laughs> And as I like to give on my disclaimer, my time and temps and pressures are just ones that work for me in-house. Whatever you see um, kind of give you, uh, or anybody for that matter, just know that that is a go-to, so to speak, it's a starting point. We all need a launching point as to what we use for time, temp, and pressure. So I'm very thankful for the guides because it at least lets me know that I know where to start at least. All right, let's get these all down. Make sure you put your butcher paper on the top and the bottom and you drop it down and see what the comments are saying. A drinking game. Exactly. A drinking game is definitely going to be the thing. I am super excited for it. You know what? And here's the thing, uh, Sprite, is we don't cater to a lot of the in-home bars that people are putting in, the, the man caves and whatnot. I think this is going to be great. And if you know a local brewery, that would be a great place to uh, market them as well. And you just take a coin and bounce the coin off of it. It's really cool. Give it a few more seconds. We all love drinking games. Of course we do. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This is so exciting. Thanks, Sprite, for having me on today, too. Oh, thank you, Nikki. This is great. This is awesome. And uh, you, uh, you were right. The energy is fantastic. Absolutely love it. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, they, they pick on me because although you can't see my facial expression, I am a woman of a million facial expressions. Um, and they will tell you that. <laughs> Now, please, as a disclaimer, hardboard, guess what, people? It's hot, all right? So you want to be very careful. Make sure you protect your fingerprints, all right? And you pull up. Look at that! So on this one, basically, you have to throw your coin, and you have to land it on one of these three places. You know what? You got to have a sense of humor. That's In these, you better have a sense of humor. Um, this one is again the bullseye you and you can play this with another partner too and how you can get the points for it there we go let these cool off now this one is not for the faint of heart you literally have to take your coin and slide it to see if you can land it on what would be the hole um so i don't think you'd want to have too many beers for this one that one's going to be, that one's going to test you a little. Now, this one is great for when you probably had a little too many beers because there's lots of different sizes and you add up the point values. Don't worry, we don't math around here either. Um, so, <laughs> guesstimates are okay. 
And that would be a great set of four you can offer as a gift for the man in your life. You could offer it to breweries, whoever has a home bar. This is a great idea to have um, instead of having just the plain Jane monograms, if you will. So again, we could, sh you know, we could change it up a little bit. We can add different things. But currently right now, if you go over to the Sassy Subber on Etsy, you will find this in the listing. It's already listed there um, for you to go and grab this. It does fit the Condi Hardboard uh, coasters, but you can obviously resize it. I would not resize it to a round. I will tell you that right now. Don't resize it to a round. It won't work. Um, so you definitely want to make sure you use a square. All right. And then just going back to what we did and talking about this. So if you're going to you're going to sell this, I would have fun with how I stack these and just kind of crisscross them. Again, twine, ribbon, whatever it may be, this is going to be great for those those vendor fairs that you guys are this from anywhere from 15 to $20. Um, your price point is going to be really just what it's in your area, what you decide to charge for these. I wanted to make sure we could have items that could be under 20 because I believe the under 20 market is probably the most unutilized market. That The reason being, and I hope I get to do more of these, is because it's great grab and go for hostess gifts, great grab and go for teachers. This would be a great thing to offer a teacher for their classroom, preschools. Um, again, maybe, you know, it, it, grandparents to their grandchildren. This is definitely something you can offer. Again, without the little mess up here, be careful double pressing. Make sure that when you double press, I probably should have double pressed it right here and not on this and it wouldn't have shadowed. Um, but make sure that when you double press it, you have a board underneath this because what it does is it allows the board to keep everything steady and it allows you just to slide it back and forth without it drooping like it was doing on my heat press. Just a board that is bigger than your press is ideal for this, especially if you're going to do bigger items. But here, I think this, what do you think, Sprite? I actually use a hard board. Um, let me get my board, give me one second, and I'll show you what I use. So what I did was I went and got shelving board. It's an MDF that you can get at Home Depot, Lowe's. It's about a half inch thick. I then went and bought some Teflon from Amazon, wrapped it and stapled it around. And what it does, let me move this stuff out of my way. So we're gonna pretend this is on our heat press for a second. What it does, and make sure you put cover butcher paper, it allows everything to stay flat. So as you're putting it under your press, it's holding it so this doesn't droop. And it allows, see, I'll show you, it allows you to, and I'll put it on here, because I think you guys can see it a little bit. There we go. So as this, let's say this is under here, now this isn't drooping and it isn't causing some weird gapping that can happen when it leans over the edge of your press. It's just extending that bottom platen for you to give you more leverage um, and making your design so that you could just literally just slide it back and forth. If you need to do flags, um, you could do flags on this. It allows you to extend that 15 by 15 to a little bit bigger. Now, I also have a 16 by 20 and that 16 by 20, I have a 30 by 40 board that allows me to do bigger items like blankets um, without it drooping and, and whatnot. So it's helped me, again, Home Depot, Lowe's, any hard hardware store that sells wood, cut it down. This one is 24 by 16. Um, and again, it just adds it so it doesn't droop. Um, when I'm pressing it, you just make sure you, you know, you fix the pressure because of this hardboard being in there and make sure you cover it with Teflon. It protects everything as well. You gotta try the board.
You're welcome. You know, it, and it saves a lot of projects for me um, because this is, I wish, I, I, I mean, if you see what it looks like, I'm gonna show you, hold on one second. Um, I'm pretty sure you can see, yeah, you can see my press. Okay, so see what happens. If you were to put this and you're double pressing it, when this double is pressing, you see how this droops over? Well, it's causing some sort of a gap in there. It's not allowing you to line up your edges correctly. So what I do, some pro tips I call them for myself is, I put this on, I then will take my butcher paper to protect, say this is my image, and then what I do is, Wherever my heat press is, I will go in, you could tape it. Um, I will draw a pencil line. So like there's this, and I'm gonna do this just for the sake of the camera. No, you do not use a marker, please use a pencil. But I will go like this. So I remember where my edge is, so I'm not doing so much under the heat press, which could also cause some issues. But watch, let's say I do that. When I use my board, I didn't have to do anything but this. My product didn't move at all, but the board did. It allowed for me to move things without shuffling the papers and having off gassing and shadowing. That board has been a lifesaver over the last three years. Then what I do is I come down right where that line is and I gently put that line right in underneath where my press is and then press it because you don't want to go too much over this line, you could end up with some strange off shadowing and off gassing and, and pre double presses and all that. So if you come just this side of the line, it will help you get a better press. Again, this board is a lifesaver because there's gonna be no gaps. This is great if you have to piece a design. This is great if you have to double press a design. It allows you to get more bang for your buck for your 15 by 15 and your smaller press it or printers um, by doing this method. So when you do, uh, first off, let me apologize because I, I had myself muted and I didn't realize that and I apologize. Um, oh. But when you do that, do you get any kind of like discoloration where the press overlaps? No, that's where the, the because I put that line, it's a guide for me so that I know right where that, where it pressed last. So when I go in, I just tuck it in ever so slightly under here. So you're not doing a, a full double press on that area. Um, what I also tell people is, is if you're piecing, never to put the edge of your press on a seam because you're just adding more insult to injury. If you're doing this, and I'm gonna see if I can try to do this on the camera here. If you go to put your press right here, you're pushing on that seam, causing it to go like this, all right? So if you can avoid it, make sure that if you're gonna do double um, prints like this, move your press to either side of that line because this is already a weak point. You don't wanna add the weak point to it. You wanna be able to go in, Take this down, but never put the edge of your press on this because we don't want to add, you know, insult injury, as they say. This is already a weak point. Move your press to either this side or this side of that line so that you can get a, a much more even press. Once you develop and figure out your own method with your time, temp, pressure, and how your workflow is, this method is pretty much foolproof. You can make a lot of things happen with a board, with smaller printers, and smaller presses. Fantastic. Well, look, Nikki, you're teaching us all kinds of things today. <laughs> That's what I do. I teach lots of things. That's fantastic. Um, well, there we go. So there you go. If you're looking for some more DIY um, under 20 gifts, uh, there is, I have my own sassy summer. You'll be able to find me on Facebook, YouTube, all the same things. I hope to maybe do another one with Condi again, where we could do another set of under 20 gifts that you could sell at vendor shows, in your uh, e-commerce stores. But it, this way, most people are willing to sell or willing, you know, willing to buy something that's under 20. We, as a, as a community, we have no problems handing somebody $20. As soon as something is over $20, we stop and pause and we think about it. So the, the biggest, most untapped market is things that are under 20. Um, 
and it allows for you to grab and go, like I said, hostess gifts. Um, maybe, maybe you don't like your mother-in-law. Maybe you need to do that. Um, maybe, you know, your cousin from three generations back, whatever it may be, but you want to be able to have that gift, teachers, coworkers, all that kind of thing, all under 20. So it doesn't break your budget. It's also a great way to get your name out there too. Love Absolutely it. it is. And don't, don't let the car coaster, this is like the unsung hero. Um, it's not just a car coaster. These make great games for making checkerboards. Um, why? Because kids can just toss them and they're not going to break anything. Um, you can make an in-house cornhole game uh, kind of thing. So for an example, say this was your in-house, you're going to do a tabletop cornhole game. Put a hole right here and just see how close you can come to the hole. And there you go. You can make a lot of projects out of these car coasters and not just car coasters. Now, I did try the larger regular coasters, um, but they're just a little bit too big. I found the car coaster was a nice workable size for these smaller tabletop type of things. Um, and again, you can't put the bar coaster, you can't do this on a round, the design just won't fit. You definitely want it on a hardboard, especially if they're gonna be reusing it a bunch of times um, for breweries and, and bars and whatnot. That would be something to market to in a resale kind of a conversation. What large fabric would you use to make a checkerboard or tic-tac-toe? Um, you actually can use the big neoprene. So. Connie has neoprene. I'm gonna just get a small piece of it that I have over here. They sell this large piece of neoprene. It's 54 by 36. You can cut it down to whatever size that you may need. Um, I did find I could cut it on my GCC with enough pressure. They have different thicknesses of this. Um, and then you can press whatever you want on it. It makes a great thing for making bigger designs, bigger mats, Whatever the case may be, but I mean, if I try to show you, this is this this, this is huge. <laughs> but you can make a lot of things on these neoprene rolls. Um, as you can see, I started to cut one and I made a 10 inch square. Um, again, if you have a, a GCC or a, a silhouette or a Cricut, uh, you should be able to cut right through that, the thinner uh, neoprene. And it works out beautifully. It's so versatile. You could do a lot of things with this. You could add grommets to it, believe it or not. Um, I added a grommet to a coaster. And what did that do? It allowed for me to put a straw in the grommet so that I could put it as a cover to my cup. So the, the flies and whatnot and the bugs from outside protect my drink. And I just put the coaster on top and the stuck the straw in the center. I needed something quick and easy. So you could definitely use this neoprene for a lot of things. You can sew it. Um, so you can make bags with it, whatever. Really the possibilities with this rolled neoprene are endless. Right, so many ideas, Miriam. I love it, love it, love it. The neoprene placemats wash great too. Yes, they do. Neoprene really is a, is the unsung hero. It's it can it's really well. You can wash it, to, and I literally throw it in the washing machine, um, and it does wonders in there. Uh, I even put it on a tumble cool dry, believe it or not, and it tumble dried these nice and cool. They do dry very fast though, um, so if you know your kiddos get these all messed up, whatever the case may be, you could just wash it. This whole thing is washable, which makes it great. They can use it to put their cups on it and dinner. Um, so you could flip it over and now it's a dinner mat and they have their, their coaster for their, their drink. It's, it, again, I love the double-sided. It's beautiful. They sub gorgeous. I've got a million ideas <laughs> and they just keep coming. Well, it, we are definitely going to have to have you back on then. Um, Yay! Yes, for sure. For sure. Yes. Well, let me hop over to my computer. And guys, I don't know if, if y'all know this, but we actually sell um, just about all of the fabric that you can get from Condi, we sell in bulk. So you can buy it by the yard or by the foot. Um, we have the linen in bulk, we have the neoprene in bulk. So 
Um, yeah, the, like like Nikki said, it's the possibilities are endless. Absolutely endless. And like I said, I put. I don't have it sitting in front of me. I put a grommet, a large grommet in the center of this, and I was able to put it on top of my cup and put my straw in it to protect it uh, from the bugs outside. And then I could actually just use it as a coaster as well. Um, again, the neoprene, Unsung Hero, there's so many different projects you can do with it. So have your think outside the box moment. Find out what you could do for under $20 for your, for your clients because you are going to get a lot more bees with honey than you do with vinegar. The more you have that fits into the budget, especially with everything going on with COVID right now, the more things you can have that are under 20, you're gonna get a lot more people and, and it has a lot more buying power, if you will. Once you start getting over that is, don't get me wrong, I love a lot of things that are, I would sell over that but you want to hit everybody's price point. Um, and that's one way to do it. So um, it looks like we have some requests to have you on once a month. <laughs> yes! I would totally do it. I would totally do it. Oh, fantastic. Well, we might have to set something up then. We might have to set something up. That's great. Um, Oh man, you've had so I so many comments and <laughs> likes and views. This is great. This is awesome. So well, thank you so much for allowing me to do this. This was so much fun, and I do these a lot of my think outside the box, like I just did. Is how you're going to see how I do my lives every Sunday. It just goes from one thing to the next, and you never know what I'm going to think of. My brain just never stops. My tribe will tell you that. It never stops. And I do sleep, but they don't know when. <laughs> well, and you, prob you probably dream about sublimation like I do. or <sighs> so. Yeah, or, you know, I can't, you can't have a, um, a decent shopping trip anymore. I can't go to the Michaels, the Hobby Lobby, the Joanne's. I can't go anywhere without looking at it and going, oh, I wonder how I can make that. What can yeah. I do with that? <laughs> I'm a big toucher. I'll touch it and I'll go, oh, that's sublimated. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And my mom, are you sure? I go, well, they could have done it with a roll, but I'm really pretty sure it just was sublimated on mom. <laughs> yes, my mom had a, a sublimated hoodie on the other day at, during the hurricane. And I was like, mom, that's sublimated. So. Yeah. Or I'll look at my mother and go, why did you buy that? Why did you buy that? <laughs> do you not know what I do? <laughs> So, yeah, Nick, where yeah. can people find you when you're not on, on the live with me? Well, if you look up on Etsy, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Pinterest, the sassy subber, you'll find me. Literally on all of the, the interweb social media. Oh, and TikTok. Um, I am everywhere under the sassy subber name. So just type in the sassy subber. I'm pretty sure you'll find me. Well, this was fantastic. I want to thank everybody for watching and Nikki, big, huge shout out to you. Thank you Yay, so much for doing you. this. This was great. We're definitely going to have to plan another one for sure. For I sure. can't wait. And you know what? Maybe I'll actually have to come down to Georgia. I mean, you know, you know, I mean, I, I do have, I have a little bit of room here. Then you can actually you see. And I'm always down for a trip. I'm always down for a trip. I've, I've only ever been to Georgia once. So well, we might I'll, have to make it a thing, Sprite. Yes. So, you know, um, well, so I, I'm in Alabama. Um, oh, you're in Alabama. I'm okay. in Alabama. Yes. I'm in Mobile. So if you decide you want to come to the beach, you come by here and hang out with us. Even better. Even, Even better. better. I will do that too. Yes. I always get confused. I always think you guys are in Georgia, but that's because I'm a northerner. I live in New York. So anything down south, you guys are all mushed together anyway. It's, it's all the same thing. It's all the same <laughs> so thing. So here we go. I will come to Alabama. I will come and see you. You just plan it. We'll do it. Well, and maybe I'll come to New York and see you. So oh, that works. Great. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you all so much. Nikki, once again, thank you. This was great. And um, I'm going to see you again for sure. Definitely. So, so. all right, guys. Um, Let's see. I'll see you on Friday. I'll see you on Friday. So I'm looking guys. forward to it.